Hello everyone, my name is Aureliana. I'm a pharmacist by profession and in love with acupuncture and Chinese metaphysics wisdom. Today I have a question for you. Are you struggling to wake up in the morning? Well, who isn't? Waking up early in the morning can present being a challenge for many people. We all know too well the snooze button from the alarm clock, but how many times do we hit it? How many times is normal or too much? It doesn't matter the age, waking up in the morning can be a tough beginning for many people. But why is that? Well, Chinese medicine and uh, astrology come with guidelines and answer to this very encounter phenomena. So a very important message to take from this video is that uh, is the importance of healthy habits in being able to wake up okay in the morning. So uh, a bit of uh, understanding from the Chinese medicine, uh, our ability to wake up in the morning is influenced by our digestion. And it's very important to know about the notion of dampness, that is the accumulation of uh, the accumulation of liquids, the retention of liquids in our body. And when we are struggling to wake up uh, in the morning, not necessarily um, early, but when we can, it can be eight or nine uh, a.m., but we still struggle to wake up in the morning, uh, is influenced, this um, ability to wake up is influenced by a weak spleen a weak uh, spleen as an energetic organ. So it's very important to maintain our spleen um, healthy, but tonified with energy. And uh, this and this uh, organ is influenced by our uh, diet um, uh, habits. Otherwise, if it's uh, deficient, we will have less, uh, less G, less energy in the system, and the spleen won't be able to process liquids uh, correspondingly uh, accordingly in our uh, body, and it will, uh, we will, it will lead to the retention of liquids. So, um, as a um, symptom, we experience what difficulty in waking up early or just waking uh, up uh, at a proposed hour. We push the snooze button way more than two times. We cannot uh, uh, get down rapidly from the bed. We feel like our head body is very really heavy or we feel like our um, uh, head is really heavy, like in an aquarium. We don't have uh, mental clarity. So we have an overall feeling of sluggishness, maybe a bit upset that we are maybe late for work or late in doing some morning activities. But don't be alarmed. Don't be alarmed. There are solutions. So now some easy step to, for you to follow to cultivate habits to preserve and increase your chi. So it matters, for example, when you go to sleep. Go to sleep before 11 o'clock so uh, or 11 o'clock, uh, 11 p.m., the maximum hour you go to sleep because it will help um, your liver to function well. Not to skip regularly night sleep because it will damage your kidney energy, bedtime and waking hours to not very much each day. So we will try to maintain uh, the bedtime and the waking uh, hour approximately the same every day as a general rule. Of course, we can have exceptions. Do not skip a breakfast and have regular meals. Um, last meal at 8 p.m. maximum because uh, otherwise the chi of the digestive system it will weaken in time because it's not supposed to work at that hour. After 8 p.m. it's supposed to our body is concentrating in other parts of our body, so not the digestion. All the rules, all the rules I mentioned at the previous video, the name is how well is your gut, are to be applied. So look for the video and uh, see what are the, the guidelines there. So the digestive uh, system, the health of the digestive system is influenced, influences the ability of uh, um, us waking okay in the morning. So it matters our diet, our um, eating habits, the way we the way we are eating, what kind of uh, food we are eating, the lifestyle, our emotions, the environment. So they all have their contribution to the um, 
ability to wake up in the morning, but especially uh, uh, the diet and uh, the habits we have towards eating and uh, how we are eating. And uh, for those who have a weak earth element in their path charts, a weak or a poor quality, uh, they are predisposed to this kind of uh, digestive uh, system, uh, digestive uh, symptoms, and the ability to wake up in the morning. So attention there. I hope it was interesting for you. Uh, see you next time. Thank you for your attention.